Hi, my name is Ben Uy, and today I'm going to be telling you about the Widget Reflector tool in Unreal Engine. So the Widget Reflector is a debug tool that is incredibly useful for debugging problems with your UI. That could be things like uh, not being able to click on buttons, things being drawn or not being drawn, and you're not sure, quite sure what's going on, um, and also giving you the ability to kind of delve into widgets and see what their properties are while your game is running. So let's start with how we can show it. So and this is in Unreal Engine 5. You want to go under Tools, Debug, Widget Reflector, and that will bring up the window. If we jump across to 4.27, the tool is actually in a slightly different location here. So it's under Window, Developer Tools, and then it's again right at the bottom, Widget Reflector. Oh, it didn't get docked there, so you can dock it at the bottom like that. I'm going to be covering um, the rest of the thing in, in Unreal 5, but in terms of features, they're basically identical. Some of the widget, some of the UI is slightly different, like here it's two separate buttons, and in Unreal 5 it's one button, but we'll see. Okay, so jumping back into our example, if we start our game, we want to play it in selected viewport. This is just an example UI that I have from another tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is the most important button is this pick hit testable widgets. So if we click on that, you can start seeing that there's a big green outline that is following the cursor. So as I move it around, you can see it's kind of outlining the thing I'm mousing over and then all of the parents of that. So going up from this text to the entry to the scroll box to up to even the window itself. And you can see this even works on um, uh, in uh, editor widgets as well. So you can actually debug the editor this way if you want. So one thing you can also notice is at the bottom, as I'm mousing over these widgets, the tree view in the bottom is updating as I do that. So let's take an example. If I mouse over this nature text and I hit escape, if you look in the bottom left, it says picking escape to stop. So now I've hit escaped, escape, it won't uh, follow my cursor anymore. So I can make this window a little bit bigger and I can see this is the tree of everything up to my text box. Um, the outline's changed a bit because I've moved the window, but this is all the way up to my text box, and I can actually see the properties of the text box on the right-hand side here. So it's nature, these are all the settings I have. Um, and as I click up the parents, you can see the outline is changing. If I do that again, now that I've moved the window size, you can see that Okay, here I click on the image, and it's... Why is that not working? Oh, this image. Oh, that image is a background color texture. So this image will be the icon image. Yeah, it shows you the name. It also shows the blueprint uh, that is responsible for this. So I find this really useful. If I click on it, I can actually go immediately to the blueprint. So if you're debugging someone else's work, or even if you just need to know, hey, which blueprint is responsible for this thing that's being drawn on screen, you can use the widget reflector to mouse over it and then find the name of the blueprint. Um, okay, so that's what pick hit, tes hit testable widgets does. Um, this example on the right here, I'm trying to show the difference between this image here is set to visible. So if I hit escape, the visibility setting is visible. Um, the other settings for this that would affect that are yeah, collapsed, not hit testable. So if I go back to picking hit testable widgets, and mouse over this one, it's not showing anything um, because it's set to not hit testable. So sometimes you might want to debug something where um, you have a button on screen and you're trying to mouse over it but it's not reacting to uh, your mouse. That might be because there's a hit an invisible image on top of it that is blocking the, the, the hit test. So you can use this tool to mouse over your UI and find out what is intercepting those hit tests events. Um, if you want to mouse over something and kind of, if you want to find it in the, the tree hierarchy here, um, and it's not hit testable, in that case, you can click here and pick painted widgets. So it's exactly the same kind of tool, but it's based on paint, but whether it's painted or not. Um, so here we can actually mouse over this, this image. It's set to uh, hit test, in self hit test invisible, but we can still mouse over it. Uh, that's kind of the first two main things. You can also, if your resolution is relatively low, it's kind of hard to, to scroll all the way to the right here and see 
the contents of your tree. Sometimes this can get really deep um, and if your resolution is not high enough, it can be hard to see it. So one of the useful things they've added recently is this filter. So if I click UMG as root, it has hidden all of the elements like the editor um, and the root node is now the constraint canvas, which is kind of when you add to viewport. This is kind of like the root that you have. So it does get reset when you go back to picking painted widgets, but it's a very easy way of just kind of hiding all the rest of the stuff. And so now you have a little bit more uh, breathing room. Um, there's also a, a ton of other features in here that I'm not going to cover today, but you can you can save this snapshot if you um, want to reload it later. There's a way of debugging and validation. Um, there's, yeah, debug culling stuff. There's also completely separate windows for dealing with the hit test grid and widget events. Um, you can even show like atlases and things. It, there's a ton of features in here. I don't even know what demo mode does. But yeah, the, you can mess around with the application scale. If you want to see what your game would look like if the user changed their UI to 0.5, if you set if you support that, um, yeah, it's it's a really 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 useful tool. Um, I use it all the time. So yeah, th um, if you're interested in more uh, Unreal related tutorials, I have a uh, Twitter which is at underscore BenUI, and then there's also this channel, and there's also my website BenUI.ca. So yeah, have a good one.